You know, we talked about several different things, you know, um, in the spirits out there of, uh, you know, getting in shape. All right, basically getting ready for war, man, because that's what's coming, okay? And, um, you know, it went from there to, uh, you know, we talked about a lot of mannerism. And then you ended up pulling it out at the very end of the class session uh, about not forsaking, the, you know, the uh, assembling of ourselves. Right. As the scripture says, we, if, you, if you can get that uh, as well in the uh, book of Hebrews, all right? And, um, you know, the older brothers towards the end of the uh, class session were exhorting the younger brothers and telling them that, look, man, you know, we should be seeing, you know, more videos of uh, younger Akim together. All right. We, we, you, sh you all should be, you know, uh, breaking bread more, you know, learning from one uh, another. All right. So on and so forth, you know, because when we were growing up, you know, and, you know, uh, you know, in particular, us uh, uh, three brothers right here. We were always around each other, and we still are to this day, but, you know, now we got a little bit older. Hey, brothers got families now, you know, more of a serious work schedule, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And we don't got that time, that free time like we once did. Okay. And like I told the brothers, man, I wish I had that time like I used to, you know? So with that being said, you younger men out there, and I'm saying younger men in particular, like your age, you know, those in their teens and their 20s. Or if you, hey, you might be an older man, you don't have, you know, that responsibility, responsibility like that. Take advantage of that, because you don't know what the Lord's going to throw at you later in, in life. So don't for, uh, forsake the assemblings of, uh, of yourself, man. Try to link up with brothers as much as possible. Now, there's a balance with it, of course, all right? But you, I'll say it like this. You should be seeing brothers, you know, once or twice during the week. And I'm not, I'll put it like this. We're not saying, oh, I, I see you at camp. Well, I see you at class. No, I'm saying outside of that, all right? But uh, can you get that, uh, um... Can I saw and then you know we'll we'll go from there. This uh Hebrews chapter ten verse twenty three. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without mm -hmm. wavering, for he is faithful that promise. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Yeah, and then how big Ox said, you know, he mentioned that you know I was provoking the brothers to good works. All right, we got to do that. Hey, you got to hey, get on your brother, man. All right, was just talk about how. Uh, your neighbor's gonna search you out, okay? Hey, you you, you gotta hear a um, particular. Uh, it could be a rebuke. It could be just even just some slight cr uh, uh, critiquing. Yeah. Hey, brother, you know what? Maybe you should you know go to sleep a little bit earlier. That'll help you out in the morning with getting up for work. Or maybe you should you know how we were speaking, like we were talking about etiquette. Hey, you shouldn't be eating. All right, you know past this time. All right, we you know going into all sorts of things. Hey, this will help you out with uh, your health. Etc. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We should be doing that constantly, trying to you know uh, uh, better ourselves. And this brother should point out some flaws in me, and vice versa, I should point out flaws in him. Because at, at the end of the day, we want to cross the finish line together, man, so to speak. That's right. All right? Because that we, we we all want to get that plan, right? We yeah. all want to get that you know salvation, you know. Yeah. So we we gotta you know uh, make ourselves better, even in the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it can be you know. Uh, um, you know, the, you know, the, the, even like what you had Arnold in here. The, uh, what is that dude's name? Oh, I can't think of his well, uh, workout buddy. Oh, well, uh, was it Frank? I think that was his name. I can't think of it. It's a locket. But even Arnold had like a workout buddy to to uh, make him better. You know what I'm saying? All the greats had that. They always had that 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 man that was beside them to to make them the best, the best, so to speak. Got All right. You got it. It's Proverbs 27 and uh, 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. There you go, man. Like, so the more that you're both in the same spirit to get towards a similar goal, hive mind is what they call it, you know, or a symbiotic relationship, synergy, you know, the, the more you're strengthening one another, man. You know? And it, it presents uh, it presents a, an ability to, to help get over a challenge when you are crossed with it. 
you know, as far as whether, um, <coughs> you know, you're just dealing with it on your own. Like the scripture says that, uh, what is it, a four cold, uh, a four cord, um, and we, we can get that with yeah, that. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, let's get that as well. Get that for uh, the other brother in the house. You know, just like I was thinking about the, because they had that fucking um, yep. Planet of the Ace movie on uh, streaming. It was like on Hulu. They they had that streaming or whatever with Caesar. And he picked up the sticks. You know, he picked, he broke one easily, but then he picked up a bundle of them. He said, like, you know, together we're strong, communicating with the Ace, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Because he, he, he said, saw that he was getting wise. What did he do? He started stretching their mentality. Then he went and got the green gas to really build them up, man. Which is really them getting uh, turned up and receiving the spirit. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, I got that Queen Gas is four. We'll start at nine. Uh, you want one of you younger brothers want to get it? I got it. Yeah, you, you get it. Uh, it's, 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 nah. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter four, verse nine. Mm-hmm. It says two are better than one mm-hmm. because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Yeah, and we mentioned in class, there were several men that were amongst us, and they were never around brothers, man. They always had that lone wolf spirit. Uh, you know, I'm going to fall back. Uh, I'm not going to go to the main house. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I'm working. I'm busy. I can't, you know, hang out. Or if they did hang out, it was always... In a uh, folly atmosphere. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I'll, I'll kick it with you as long as, you know, we're going to the club or going to the bar, you know, doing something quote-unquote fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, 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 that, that's the, people like that, they don't last. They don't. All right? Like, uh, you know, we've been, like I said, a couple of, uh, us three brothers, we've been in a little bit of time now, you know, through the spirit, and we, we've seen people come and go. All right? And those type of men, they don't last. I have not seen one last. Have you? Because the ones that I, I that I know about, they all fell out. Yeah. Every single one of them. It's either you stop doing that type of behavior, you broke <coughs> it, or you end up falling out. Yeah, like we mentioned, you got certain brothers who got more reserved spirit, but every so often they still, you know, break some bread. All right, you know when they can. Mm-hmm. All right, they, you know there's still a balance of things. Okay, but um, is there more to that? Keep reading. Uh, Ecclesiastes four and eleven. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against them, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Broken. And that goes back to what this brother was talking about with the, uh, you said the sticks and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not easily broken if you uh, uh, come together. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, with, with, uh, it's a difference between coming together in righteousness and just coming together with a multitude, man. Right? Yeah. Because the Lord says, follow not multitudes to do evil. Right. If you got a bunch of uh, righteous men, there's more of the spirit there, man. There's more uh, 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 peace there. There's more knowledge there. There's more strength there, man. Mm-hmm. All right. There's a, more of a game there with this group versus this group. You know, mm-hmm. shit, you with this group, the, the one on the left, well, shit, you know, if you was with a bundle of, you know, poop bears, shit, you, you might as well uh, be dead, man. Right. Oh. <laughs> What's that uh, another thing too is you, the scripture said uh, I forget where it's at. I know it's in the gospel where it says but where there are two Got more. It. <laughs> this, it, uh, shit. this is Matthew eighteen and twenty. For where two or three are gathered together mm. in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Yes, yeah, so it's straight to the point. Where there are two or more gathered in my name, I'm I'm in the midst of them. Right. All right, so yeah. every time you, you you link up with brothers, hey, Yahweh Shai is in the midst of us, man. Remember that. that that's something that, you know, yeah, that's cold, bro. And it's scary, too, bro, because, you know, if you're doing, if you're off, man, the Lord sees that. All right, so, you know, we, hey, you know, it's a dual as sword, you know. You know, it, it, this truth, it, things are, it, like I said, it's a dual edged sword, you know. The point being, though, is, you know, you, you want to be amongst brothers because the spirit, you know, is flowing now. Like how you were, you know, getting into. All right. Oh, another thing too is a bro- uh, each brother brings a different uh, uh, a piece of the puzzle, man. Yeah. All right. All right. This brother may be good in Hebrew. This brother may be good in history. Oh, this is a, a brother that exhorts. This brother's good in herbs. This brother maybe he's a little bit older in age, so he's got some worldly knowledge that he can 
you know, yeah. oh, I'll give to you, brother, so on and so forth. Man. Every brother has their part, man. You see? But we're all what? We're all one body. Yep. All right, as the scriptures talk about. You know, every per the, like I like to mention the brothers, every individual is important, man. Even if you're the lowest guy in the totem pole, so to speak, you know, you, you're, you're, you're a, a, a part in, in this uh, movie is important, man. Okay, yeah. don't forget that. Maybe you don't get your so-called shine, right? You know what I'm saying? Because some brothers, they, they're, they're more of a background guy, so to speak. But that, that background guy is important. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, I'll say this for, you know, uh, 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 those who are, uh, you know, just listening and learning. They haven't, you know, come to a camp like that. There's a lot of men that you don't even see on, you know, on camera like that. And those individuals are key members in camps, man. If those particular uh, men weren't around... A lot of shit wouldn't be happening, bro. A lot of brothers would be in financial jams. A lot of uh, brothers' cars wouldn't be getting fixed. They wouldn't be getting driven around. All right, so on and so forth. All right, so like I said, every brother's important in this thing. You know? Yeah, I got a quick tweet. That this is uh, Rock 11 and 3. It says, The bee is little among such as fly, but her fruit is the chief of sweet things. So, yeah, just because you have a position that may seem small, doesn't mean that it's not bringing a lot to the table, man. But it, it, it's the fact that you're doing a job and you're doing it in humility, man. Not expecting to be exalted more than what you are because you know what? Those type of guys, they also don't make it because they're not there for uh, the spirit. They're not just there to do the job. They're there to be known. They're there for their own belly. And the Lord ends up spewing them out. This uh, Sirach chapter 37 or Ecclesiastes Cush, chapter 37 verse 12. It says, But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord yep. whose mind is according to thy mind. Yeah, because what did the scripture say? Uh, Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Mm -hmm. So you have to be amongst godly men. All right? If not, you, you know, because the scriptures say, uh, he that touches pitch shall be defiled. Mm -hmm. So if you start hanging out with these, you know, individuals in the world, all right, their spirit's going to rub off on, uh, on you, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Now you're proud. Right. All right? Yeah, you, you, you start thinking about different doctrines and philosophies and thinking that's right instead of the one that you were taught. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know, so you want to be among uh, godly individuals. I think it talks about living a sorrow with thee. Mm, that, yeah. Does it say in the next verse? Yeah, yeah, it, yes, right? yeah, yeah. it says, uh, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Exactly. They, they actually understand you. They understand the, the trial and tribulations that you're going through. Look, your mom's not going to understand this. All right? Your brother, your woman, you, you know, your, your grandpa, your uncle, they're not going to understand what you're going through. They're of the world. So you don't want to be around these guys, man. You want to be around a like-minded men. All right? They, they, these like-minded men are going to have the same uh, goal. All right? They, they, they got the same thought process. You know? Because you, you hang around somebody in the world, eventually, you know, some adultery is going to come up. Oh, yeah. Pork. Oh, yeah. A blunt. Yeah. All right? They never pass it. Exactly. They, they never passed it once when you were, you know, in the world. But yeah. now that you're in the truth... Hey man, little homie, you ain't shit. You know, here you go. It's some demons. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's just some bullshit's gonna come out. Somebody's gonna start woman worshiping. You start getting out women or something. And all of a sudden, you got fucking Captain Sablehold trying to fight you, bro, over a, a, a woman that he hasn't even met. Yeah. You're like, God damn, bro, what the fuck? And he never gonna touch that bitch. He never gonna be smelling it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That dude's still gonna go home with his, his dick soft and his, his dick fucking uh, uh, dry. All he do is elevate some whores out here. He's not even fucking the dudes that uh, they 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 speaking shit about him. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the toxic masculinity. Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy man. Did somebody bring out Second Corinthians? Is there any more there? Oh, uh, no. Nah. I'll take time. What have you got? Uh, this Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, mm. for what fellowship have righteousness with the unrighteousness, mm. and what communion have light with darkness? Keep going out there's a lot to it. It's mm. a, oh god. Yeah, there's a couple of verses. Just keep reading towards the end of the end. Yep. 
It says, and what uh, concord has Hamashiach with ba uh, Belial? Yeah, in the in um Belial. In, so. in um um, what will have the, the anointed? All right, with Belial, and, and, and when you look up that word, it's a heavy definition, man. It goes into uh, being worthless. So, what do these anointed yeah, ones Bilal. have to be? You have the sons of Belial. What do these anointed ones have to uh, have to do with these worthless, low life individuals? Yeah, what does the value have to do with nothing? Then? Yeah, <laughs> shit exactly. High value men. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You have you have nothing in common and nothing to talk about. Yeah, you know you you know let's say you know you might be you know in the gym you might be you know brother that you know hits you know hits the weights and shit. Yeah, you can talk to somebody a little bit about some workout stuff. But after that, nothing, nothing in common. Else. Yeah, you know, maybe your brother that plays basketball, you could, you know, talk about fucking LeBron James a little bit, all right? You know what I'm saying? You could talk a little bit about the game. But after that, nothing else. Yep. So on and so forth, man. Which isn't the same as networking, because you know what? They, uh, you know, you got to balance it out, because it says use as well as not abusing it. You got to understand that um, sometimes you do have to separate yourself from those people, because it says that thou be among the in the street, observe the times, meaning... But in be continue. Did you bring that? Is that the one you brought out? Yeah. Yep. Well, th there you go. So you know, hey, you're gonna have times where you have to deal with these heathens, Esau, the two thirds, the black woman. You know, but for the most part, their spirit is not of the mo well. <laughs> not for the most part, not at all. Their spirit is not of your about you how shot. So you gotta separate yourself, get back to the brothers, get back into this book, start reading and, and, and replenish your spirit. You know, jobs work out. Uh, do things that are good for your soul, you know, even if it's just listening to a, listening to an audio, a audio book outside of those people just to clear your head of all that that, that madness. It's like being into the, the phone all day, too much screen time. But these people are, are the screen time of life, man. You know, because 20, especially if you're at work, uh, based on, you know, on, on how your life is, the majority of your time is going to be at work. It's going to be outside the house, you know. And you're going to be hearing these people's conversations, and, and you got to know what you can actually uh, say to these people, especially in these times, and, and what you shouldn't say. Because they expect mm -hmm. you to say something. They want Because they really want to, they, they always try to trap you and try to get you in the corner to see your views on things, man. Mm -hmm. they, they, they like, shit, some bitch did that to me, and I wasn't even trying to fucking go there with the bitch. I just had, you got it. She was sitting, oh, you don't want to, you don't want to argue, man. You got it. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> I just had to, yeah. had to, Stopping the bitch in the tracks, she kept going, man. It takes two to tangle, man. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I can keep reading this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I can read it. Say it. <laughs> this is, uh, and, uh, or what part, this, uh, verse 15, uh, the latter half, or what part has he that believeth with an infidel? Exactly. You believe in one thing they believe? Look, you believe in the Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, the kingdom to come. They believe in the American dream. All right. All right. Hood uh, legend. Fucking red, white, and blue. That's what they believe in. You can't be around these guys. Yeah, no. These guys believe in red, white, and blue, all right, in some way, form, or fashion. Oh, yeah. I don't care if it's, the, you know, on some Greek fraternity, you know, entrepreneurship, somebody, you know, hustling, you know, fucking, you know, crack cocaine, all right? We're dumping a goddamn basketball, bro. They believe in the red, white, and blue, bro. Yep. They, they, believe, they believe in fucking democracy, feminism, the alphabet boys, all right? That's what they believe in. Mm -hmm. If you believe in one thing, you believe in it all, then, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. You accept it all. Either you're going to be completely against this world or completely with it. That's it. There is no uh, uh, half step, uh, uh, one foot in, one foot out, half step, and no, bro. Okay? Yeah. That shit's crazy, man. Uh, for real, man. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah, you see a great first day, you know, okay, you got to accept the, you know, the uh, the gays and, you know, the lesbos, right? Yep. And then it slowly turned into a uh, uh, fucking, you know, uh, the Transformers. Now it's going into the yeah. pedals and then the bestiality. Yep. Okay, what else is next? Well, more of our shit is going to come through those doors, bro. Yep. Okay? Thank you. All right. This uh, is... God. This second Corinthians six is uh sixteen. And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? Mm -hmm. For ye are the temple of the living power. As Yahweh has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, 
and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Mm-hmm. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith Yahweh. Right. And that's what holy means too, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. To be separate. Uh, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith Yahweh Almighty. Yeah, so you got to be separate, all right? You got to come out from among them. Yeah. You know, you can't be like these people. Now, of course, you have your dealings. Hey, you deal with your parents here and there, all right? Hey, you got to deal with a co-worker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, some brothers network, depending on the type of <coughs> work and shit like that, you know God what I mean? Knows. But I'll say this, hey, it's good to know a couple people, man, so hey, you can get a deal here and there for, you know, for whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. The point being mm-hmm. is you can't be amongst these people like that, though. All right? That's why you got to be amongst the brotherhood, amongst the godly man. You know, can I say this real quick? He said, because, you know, we brought up that scripture, don't forsake the assemblings of yourself, right? And, um... We didn't get a chance to get to that verse. Oh, man, get, you know, read that first real quick. Uh, it says, uh... It's pretty flowing. Get that. Yeah. This, uh, Hebrews 10 and 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves yep. together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another... And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Yeah, so you should be doing it actually more mm-hmm. as you see the day approaching. Not less. Right. You should be, you got to be getting in tune more and more with a like-minded man. All right, yeah. what, what's that, uh, uh, can you get that scripture that the prophets shall see eye to eye? Because you know what made me think, it's funny because I just saw this, because uh, remember I was telling you I was watching the Rudu with my son and all that shit? Yeah. Remember um, when um, it was uh, between Sasuke and uh, uh, Naruto and he said, that basically we can read our thoughts without even talking. Right. Oh, yeah, basically we're just through like fist and fighting. They were yep. each other mad. Yeah, yeah, that's how we got to be spiritually speaking. We just got to know shit. Like, yeah, this brother don't have to say it. Like, half the time we be bringing our uh, brother's call out of priest. I already have him. That's how it's got to be, man. We got to be uh, dead, dead in tune with each other, man. Yeah. And even with, like, you know, carnally speaking, right? You know, because you got to bring out some carnal shit. We even look at, like, basketball players. They get so in tune with their team. That they'll be passing without even looking. They don't even know the dude's behind. They like yeah. know, but they don't really know that he's behind. Yeah. And they'll just be like passing, you know, you know, right behind their back, and mm-hmm. and bam, all of a sudden they, yeah. the dude, you know, ends up, you know, doing that layup, that dunk, whatever, right? But that's how that shit really had, you know, goes, man. You got to be that in tune with your, your your team, man. And also, yeah, that's right. That's uh, know your brother, and also like, uh, let's say for instance, all three, all all of us in this room is out with each other. You know what I'm saying? It could be a situation that go down, and we know how to handle this situation due to us being on one accord in the spirit and uh, knowing this truth, man. It's like we know how to handle certain situations. Like, okay, this is happening. All right, this is the elder brother, so we're going to follow suit, blah, 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 and be able to handle that situation. You know what I'm saying? We we need each other, man. It's all about Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, and yeah. the brotherhood, man. That's right. Uh-huh. Isaiah 52 and 8. Thy watchmen shall live up thy voice. Mm-hmm. With the with the voice together shall they sing. Mm-hmm. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Exactly. We got to see eye to eye, all right, with all things, you know? All right, when I say all things, I'm first and foremost the doctrine, okay? <coughs> you know, and then, hey, shit, just like it's in general, like how we were saying, like, you just got to be in tune, man. Like, this, this is like, I'm speaking in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things that, how would I put this, man? Like, you just got to be in the spirit to know it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, a, there's certain, you can't teach the spirit. You just got to be in it, you yeah. know what I mean? It talks about that, that uh, the spirit sees all the things in the spirit. Mm-hmm. You can't explain carnality to somebody to the spirit because we don't get it. Like, to us, like, I mean, oh, that's wrong. What do you mean it's wrong? Like, they don't understand how we think that something's wrong. All right? You know? You can't explain the spirit to somebody that's of the flesh, man. Yeah. But it's a synergy amongst those that get it. That's right. Mm. Damn, that's beautiful, man. But, um, did you have anything else? That's what, uh, um, I, I had, uh, yeah, I had one. Uh-huh. This is, uh, oh, Matthews 10 and 16. It's a classic. Uh, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Mm. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right? Hey, that's the thing, man. We gotta uh, be wise out here, man. All right? Uh, 
especially if we're together or separate. You just gotta be wise in the situation that uh, comes, you know, comes to us, you know, mm-hmm. and be harmless as done. Not everything is like rah rah and you know, let me whoop your ass or something like that, you know. Like the majority of the time, it's not like that. Yeah, God, no. You got a lot of diffuse situations. Look at how shot that's all he ever did for the most part. Just a few situations. The only time really, in a sense, where he got quote unquote power <coughs> was when he had uh, you know, whooped some ass, man, at the, you know, in the temple. Other than that, man, that's all Yahweh Shah did was he walked away, all right, finesse, went into the crowd, yeah. all right, you know, he, he, he learned how to, uh, you know, basically answer a fool according to his folly, mm-hmm. cut him, you know, cut, cut these wicked scribes and Pharisees, and did what he uh, had to do. Right. All right, that's how we got to be, too. Just about the people. Yeah. yeah. You know, but it, it, I'll say this, man. With that all being said, hey, uh, especially for you younger brothers, you need to be around uh, older men so you can learn, bro. That's the thing. Like, who talks about wearing out the uh, the steps? Yeah. All right, uh, of that wise man. Mm-hmm. A younger brother should be, you know, almost be like a nuisance to an older brother. All right. Like, damn, he's calm again. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, the older brother's gonna deal. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Where you're like, fuck, I just want to chill out for a second. You know what I mean? All right. But it says here, um, Sirach chapter six, and uh, I like uh, I like thirty two is one of my. Hey, I like the scripture a lot. Thirty two. I'm gonna start there. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught, and if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. So you gotta apply. You just can't read. That's what we're talking about in class too. You can't just read, read, read all the time and not apply. You, you, the things you read, you gotta, you know, uh, 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 you know, apply to your life. Yeah. What's the What's the point of reading, you know, all these scriptures and not, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, using it? That's, That's what stupid, Christians do. Man. That's what Christians do. They they read the Bible back and forth, the whole book, like ten times, and don't follow nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says if thou love. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. If thou bow, bow thy ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Mm. Be willing to hear every godly discourse mm. and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And we mentioned that too uh, in class that, that brothers need to learn. Well, I'll say this. You got to learn how to sacrifice Fuck your sleep, man. You know how many times, man, I wanted to go to fucking bed, and I did it. And I gained three, four hours of sleep. Now, of course, it, take what I'm saying with the grain of salt. Got to add that in there real quick. You know, have some discernment and have, of course, be a balance. But what I'm trying to get at is there's been so many sessions where I, I had to stay. Like we were talking about in class, all of a sudden, you know, a council might happen or brothers getting rebuked. And you're just there because you're, you know, you're involved. You know, you, you were amongst, you know, these brothers. And you're there just to, to, to hear everything, maybe add your two cents here and there. And even if you don't say anything, you're there to, 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 uh, to, to get some goddamn uh, wisdom and understanding from that situation. Yeah. Hey, David, hey, the scriptures go by uh, two witnesses, man, heaven and earth, man. You know, so the spirit is there to witness, and the Lord has us here to witness things as well, man. That's the reason why certain matters like that happen. And you do have to kind of, well, not no kind of, not, not no half step. You do have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And, and like Yahweh Shah said to his disciples, man, you can, can you not say it with me uh, 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 this past hour, man? Yeah. You know, now this is the hour where we really have to stay woke, man. You know, <laughs> that was all spiritual. You know, I mean, like the brother says, keep balance, because that was more of a spiritual thing as far as us staying in the truth and fighting. You know, but how much more that you can't fight small battles uh, when it comes to dealing with life and prioritizing with this truth, and which that does happen. But you can't always keep on getting your ass beat by by, by the world, and, and to the point where you're just saying, you know what, I'm gonna just I'm gonna set my gloves down, man. I'm gonna read that again, though. Sirach six and thirty-five. Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape you. So when you when you're amongst these wise men. All right. Anytime they speak, you should try to just you know be there to you know listen and absorb the wisdom, you know. 
All right, especially when you got you know a, a high ranking men coming to into town, so to speak, man. You, you know maybe an apostle might come through. Oof, yeah. You might have um, uh, maybe uh, you know elder bishops. You might have uh, you know heads of a, another camp come by. Yeah. Hey man, hey, you know be amongst these men. They got a lot to say. They've been around for a long time. I'll, I'll say this. Uh, Starting with the apostles on down, a lot of them have been in the truth longer than you've been living. Okay? Yeah. Longer than you've been living. And if they <coughs> haven't, shit, man, they've been in it for 15 fucking years, bro. They got, they, they've seen a lot of shit, man, so to speak. All right? So they got a lot to say. You should, you know, you know sit there and, and listen and, and, and absorb what they're saying. Okay? No, no, where are you going to go anyways, man? Fucking black woman, or you going to go home? Hey, baby. That, baby. that bitch is sleeping, snoring. Looking ugly as hell. I'll use the Lord. All right? Yeah, well, yes. What, are you going to go back to your, your fucking, uh, get back to your bedroom, you know, in your parents' house and beat your meat? <laughs> That's what you're going to do? Get the right home. Strong as hell. Stop yeah, exactly. Stop jerking off, man. <laughs> I, don't even fuck Be a man. Don't even mention that. Man. That dude was a straight demon, man. Hey, that's an inside joke. That dude was that Christian was losing his damn mind. <laughs> that dude was super bugged, man. Well, another thing, or you can go in uh, the the Chris drink, right? You can go to oh, yeah. Hey, I'll say this real quick: because a lot of uh, brothers like to use that that, that Proverbs thirty one, give a uh, strong drink to a man that's ready to perish. Look, bro, there's a balance to that too, man. The scriptures talk about drinking in moderation. And that scripture was actually literal. Yeah, I was going to say that too. I was going to mention that. It's really literal. But, you know, <laughs> come on. You know, there, you know, there's times where, yeah, brothers need a little bit of the liquor to, you know, but, you know, to, to forget about their sorrows. But, damn, bro, a lot of it, I'll say this too. A lot of brothers, you got to face your problems head on, man. If you're trying to run away from it, no, you got to face it head on. Yeah. You, 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 you trying to drink your, you know, your problems away isn't the answer, man. You trying to be with a woman is not gonna, is not your fucking, uh, not gonna uh, uh, escape. You're not gonna escape your problems, man. You know, by by doing these things. At the end of the day, after you're done with that woman, you're done with that bottle. You your problems are still right there, man. All right, looking right right at you. You're looking right at them. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it may get worse because, like you're saying, a brother, like the elder brother going into it, it may get worse because you're trying to. Put, you know what I'm saying, this as a scapegoat, but you know what I'm saying, if you're not using it in moderation, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna destroy you. Yep. You know? um, uh, we've seen that happen too a lot, man. Because what happens is, because the scriptures say what? Um, talks about uh, 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 that, uh, that wine and women. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, yeah, it causes yeah, right that one too. Yeah, yeah, get that if you brother can. And um, I talk about how it has destroyed kings as well. Those two things have destroyed a lot of men. And they will. You know? Master King. All right. You got it, Doc? Anybody got it? It's a lot of you. Uh, oh. If not, you know, I'm going to finish this off while you brothers find it. This is back in Sirach chapter 6, in uh, 36 now. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times, meaning early, unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. So you're supposed to, like I said, early earlier, you're supposed to basically bother that man to the point where he's just like, God damn, man, this guy's like a goddamn net in my face. He just won't go away. Mm-hmm. You know? But of course, we know that the brother's going to, you know, you know bring a, a, a deal with you. Okay? Verse 37, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Most High and meditate continually in His commandments. He shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. And you, oh, that's nothing. You got to really want this, man. All right? You got to really want this for yourself. Don't do it because, oh, my, my cousin got into it, so and he told me about the truth, now I'm in it. Or my dad was in it. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. you got to do this really for yourself. The scriptures say in Philippians 2 and 12, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Are you really about this or not? And see, you know, men, they get involved in this. They don't count the cost, right? Which that means if they don't foresee the problems, you know, to come or they don't think about it, that, then they're not really, you know, uh, rooted, you know, and grounded like that. Now, anything that comes their way, they're, they're, they're bugged out. They lose their fucking minds, man. You know? Do this really for yourself. 
And that's the thing you got to ask. Do you really believe? Do you really have faith in this? If you don't, hey, man, just walk away. It's best that you actually walk away. The scripture tells you that in the book of Re Revelation. But Lord, rather you be, you know, uh, hot or cold. That lukewarm shit, bro. The Lord is going to, actually, he's going to uh, fuck you up more than somebody that's completely cold. Because now you, you knew the Lord's will, mm -hmm. but you didn't do it. So yeah. now you're going to get beaten with many stripes. You just, uh, it's just like, you know, uh, I remember Murph, the brother Murph, uh, you know, he, point, he pointed out to us one time that you had a wicked, um, a wicked king that he was about to go to war. And the prophet had told him if he did that, he's going to be destroyed. He turned around. And then you also had a man of the Lord that's mentioned in the scriptures that he calls him the man of God. Uh, that, um, you know, he was he was fasting, but then he, he had stopped and he didn't listen at, at a point. He ate and he uh, drank with another prophet and he got destroyed for not listening, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So that, that, that shows you that balance right there, man. That uh, for one, you got to stay on the straight and narrow, man, no matter what. You got to work out your own salvation, and you got to dismiss everything else. Because if the wicked can listen at this matter, well, how much more somebody is supposed to know you? Can? I got, I got that. This Sirach 19 and 2, it says, Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away, and he that cleaveth to hearted will become impudent. That's meaning you're not wise. All right, so if you... Look, wine and women aren't your fucking answer, man. You know what's your answer? First and foremost, Yahweh Bashim Okay? And, 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 you know, knowing these scriptures and the brotherhood, man. They're, they're, those are the answers, man. Those are the tools you need to survive, man. All right? Mm -hmm. The Lord, when you read the scriptures, the Lord tells you, look, you have X amount of tools on your belt, right? You're like Batman. Right. Okay? Now, when you get in said situation, whatever it is, use tool A, use tool B, use tool C, right? Yeah. Now, if you don't use those tools, what's going to happen? You're going to fail and you're going to die. That's what's going to happen, okay? Simple as that. There's no sugar coating it, okay? And that's the problem. Guys don't use their tools, all right? They, they don't, they don't uh, call on the Yahweh Hashem Yahshai enough. They don't pray enough. They don't fast enough. Okay? They don't read enough. They don't talk to the brothers enough. They don't get counsel enough. They don't take heed or rebuke enough. Fuck, man. We can keep going. That's why guys fall out. Now, of course, are there times where you're going to stumble? Yes, we all know that. You're going to have your times where you mess up. None of us are perfect. But you, 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 you can't be falling into... Um, the same thing over and over again because really now it's a choice. Now you're like, fuck it, man. I'm gonna be because basically what you're saying is I'm gonna be a rebel. Hey, the the, the the Lord had this brother and that brother and this brother tell me that I need to do XYZ things, you know, to make my walk better. I continue to, to, to push their hand, you know, away from me. <laughs> you're just basically saying, fuck all you guys, I'm gonna do me. And that, that's why guys fall out because they, they don't listen because they got a fucking problem with you know uh, you know you know oh, oh, open up these ears man and taking heed of what's being said we got to do all the goddamn talking and always being right that shit man that, that, that's played out that, that's that's really played out that's childish as hell Ch children do a lot of talking like they listen a lot but they do a lot of talking too because they don't have control of themselves that's crazy man a lot of you guys are like little children. Hey, man, man, personally, man, I get tired of that shit, bro. I'm just at a, a point in, 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 first off, in my spiritual walk, and then in my age, man, I'm just getting tired of this shit. shit. Shut the fuck up, man. A lot of you guys talk too goddamn much. Shut up. Fuck, man. I got that fucking bitch spirit on me. Just fucking listen, man. Goddamn. For two fucking seconds. Hold on. Not just listen. Fucking meditate on what you just heard. A lot of you guys, it's one ear and not the other two, man. You don't even let anything sink in. You already got a rebuttal. But this, brother, but that. Shut up, man. You don't even shut the fuck up. Shit is fucking irritating, man. Whatever you got, I salak you. That was just in the spirit that just came out, man. A lot of you guys need to grow up already. 
Put off that child, man. Put off that old man. Grow. And it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's not, it's not going to be an easy walk, man. You're going to have to start looking at yourself in the mirror, start chipping away at particular things that make you feel comfortable. But at the end of the day, man, when you, you know, uh, do all these things, right, it's going to, uh, it's going to, you're going to improve, man. And that's going to allow you to, to actually finish the, 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 um, the goddamn race. You're going to cross the finish line. Well, I mean, uh, who drinks milk and who uh, eats meat? A baby drinks milk and adults eat meat. But for a baby to be able to eat meat, they have to go through an uncomfortable, a very fucking uncomfortable process of their teeth coming in. And that is a very, very painful process. Mm-hmm. So much that it can mess with their sinuses, they can get headaches, they get, get a little sick, they yeah. get infections, but it produces growth so that they can, and that's the part of discernment. The teeth really represent discernment on, on different uh, types of meat, man. You know, to, to gain that experience, you have to go through things. Sirach 50 and 27. It says, Yahweh Shah, the son of Sirach of Jerusalem, have written in this book the instruction of understanding and knowledge, who out of his heart pour forth wisdom. Blessed is he that shall be exercised in these things, and he that layeth them up in his heart, which is your mind, shall become wise. And the brother is talking about how you have to apply these things because these guys have what? They have knowledge. They can read this back and forth and that, but they don't apply it which becomes wisdom, the application of knowledge. You know, the other apostle the bar goes into that a lot. You have to really apply these things in your everyday walk. You know, what you read, you have to live your life about that. Well, it says let them be his friends. You know, that means you're applying it to your life in these situations. You're building it with experience. Like, oh, damn, that's why this happened. Because I remember this actually happened in the scriptures to this prophet or to this brother or to this wicked nigga. This is, this is, this is why that happened. You know, so much now that you can actually teach uh, even the reprobates, you know? Even like when this guy's saying, well, this this happened in the scriptures. Well, okay, to understand what thou readest, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You just read a bunch of scriptures with no understanding. Going back to what you said, well, you, you mentioned that, that uh, do you understand what thou readest? Right, that's in the book of Acts. Con, con. You, you, uh, 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 um, uh, Ethiopian eunuch, right? He was talking to uh, the uh, was it Philip, right? Mm-hmm. And with that all being said, what, what did he say? Uh, how how can how can I unless a man guide me? Yeah. With that being said, that was two men that had to deal with each other and break bread. In order for him to understand, he had to, to, to talk. They they had to, to deal. They sit down for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the problem. A lot of guys they don't do that. That's why they're all off, and now they all of a sudden they start having evil suspicions, have overthrown their judgment, they're all bugged out. They're just, you know, uh, getting counsel in their own head, fucking losing their damn minds, looking at a fucking wall. It says that a man's mind wants to, wants to tell him more than a thousand counsels, but nevertheless, uh, what it says, have uh, about a thousand out of one. Yeah, yeah, you're still supposed to have counsel. It, said, it even says let counsel go for every, every enterprise. And that, just, that doesn't mean just with yourself. You know, we hardly guess the right, so we have to seek counsel on situations. Man. Well, if you look at the men of the Lord, they always had somebody there with them. Oh, yeah. All the time, bro. Jeremiah had Baruch. <coughs> King David uh, had, what was it? Uh, it was a Samuel. From my right, from my, uh, that, uh, my right Salaki. Who, who's with you? Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, Nathan, uh, Nathan. Uh, Nathan Salaki. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? They're, they were always with each other. It, it, bro, man, this shit is fucking crazy. Look, look, King Saul was amongst the prophets, man, at one point, when he was in his right mind. Remember, there oh, was King Saul amongst the, the prophets? They were all shot. Yeah, you really all murdered saying he was one of the prophets. You know? He was. He shit. Was to the false prophet. Exactly. But Cohen <laughs> Vino, at one point, he was in his right mind, yeah. and he was amongst the, the, these men. But point being is, the ages of Elijah and Elisha, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The men of the Lord have always been with each other, man. That's why it's crazy when you got these mm-hmm. lone wolf yeah. spirit ass motherfuckers, man. Go, you know what, man? Fuck it, man. You want to go do your own thing? Let's see how far it gets you. Guaranteed, won't you won't last, man. 
Fucking guaranteed, bro. I guarantee it, bro. Yep. Because what fruit comes out of that, man? <laughs> For one, you you wicked fruit. So yours is going to bear thorns and thistles and it's going to destroy all the fruit that you would have. If it even grows, shit, you're a bad seed. That's what comes from a bad, like like the old saying used to say when a kid was bad, you're a bad seed. <laughs> Damn. Shit. That means everything that, that's going to grow from you is going to be Damn. destruction. Wow. So you 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 fall out because you're bad seed. Nothing's gonna grow from that, man. Mm-hmm. It says that the evil seducer shall wax worse and worse. You've already seduced yourself in your own conscience. Mm-hmm. Only thing is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make somebody else tenfold more the child of hell of you. Mm-hmm. Just like even Sakari uh, was saying, like, oh yeah, you did, you got a, we had our snacks and shit. Then you got these other guys. They'll just make a whole. Uh, and then you start talking about uh, Nick, and that actually did happen. He was actually right. Because uh, Nick did fall out, and Nick was jealous of of, uh, of, of his wicked power. Because they both wanted a seat of authority, but that Nick, Nick burnt out. Because you made your whole doctrine against the actual men of the Lord, you know, instead of just teaching the same thing that you learned. You wanted to challenge that because you were butthurt about whatever situation happened between men, and you didn't know how to separate that from the spirit. Oh, I got one, man. Malachi 3 and 16. They that fear the Lord, your house, speak often one to another. All right, so men of the Lord are going to constantly you know, be amongst the men of the Lord. All right? And it says, And the Lord, your house, hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. All right, so the men of the Lord, they're going to speak often one to another. It is simple. It's, it's not, you know, some rocket science here. It, it, this is simple. All right, we're, we're, we're going to deal with each other. Okay, now I'll say this. There's certain brothers where you you, you, know, you have a closer bond to, right? Okay, but, um, you know, even somebody that you don't talk to often, hey, you, when you, you're amongst each other, you're still going to be, you know, speaking, breaking bread, and, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to be happy that you're, you know, with this man. And then they, I remember, uh, I forgot who said this, one, uh, one of the elders said in our in the camp, when all hell breaks loose, man, hey, the brother that you so-called have problems with, right, you kind of bump heads with, when all hell breaks loose and you see that, that brother, man, you're you going to be in, in joy, man. Yeah. You're going to run up to that brother, give him a hug, man, and then you're, you're going to be so goddamn happy that, that you're with him. Another thing, too, side note, man, hey, if you got issues with the brother, man, just fucking hey, 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 be a man, talk to that brother, yeah. and squash the beef, man, whatever it is. Because we've had... Individuals in our camp that had issues with other brothers, didn't let things go, that had a grudge, that had cold grudging spirits, and then the, the spirit kicked them out. It, it, of course. Because that's exactly it's soft, it's really effeminate at the end of the day. The point being though is you you you, you gotta, you know, settle it as men. And then a lot of brothers too, they let things go, shit, man. I this mean, brother's gonna do things differently than I do. Yeah. I can't expect brothers to do the same damn thing that I, you know, exactly how I do it. I can't expect them to do the same thing. Okay, so what? This man decided to go left today. All right, cool. I'm used to going right. And it's not in a, you know, evil way. It's just they, they wanted to go fucking left. Now you're going to be mad. Oh, bro, wicked, he went left. Hey, well, I went right, but you, hey, he went left. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? He didn't even do anything wrong. And hey, fucking, hey, bro... So like, man, I just be thinking about just all the fucking the fuckery, man, over the years. It's like, god damn, man. Stupid shit, bro. Stupid shit literally as men fall off. I mean, I understand that it had to happen that way. But it's like, god damn, bro. Over this? Over this simple ass shit? But hey, the answer is yes. Over that simple shit, men fall out. That becomes their stumbling block. Yeah, oh, what happened? No, I was going to say, it's for us to learn. Yeah, they did, yo. Uh, you know, yeah, but, that, but, but with that all being said, going to what I was saying earlier, we, we talked about, you know, el- the apostles, elders, you know, older brothers right in the camp. Your younger brothers should be listening and taking heed to what these men are saying. Because they've been through so many situations. They, they're, they're, uh, um, oh, what did it say? Their spirit, uh, um, talk about, uh, uh, their senses were exercised, man. All right? That's why you, you give them double honors and all that. They've been through some shit. They know. 
Okay. Hey, it's just like what did the Apostle Tar say on that one of his uh, one of his last few videos about the BJJ? He's like, you know, I would have did this just to defuse the situation. I mean, he would be a peacemaker, but the situation just didn't have too much to do with him, so he could have he could have solved something, you know, and he would have just by using wisdom. Like, yeah, uh, he's you know he just been, yeah, I, he got. It. Thank you, sir. It would have just been like that. Then, you know, he would have chilled the fuck out. Even though he already had that vendetta in his head. Just like he said, damn, I think it's like a lion just, uh, just, just trying to get out. And he, he don't realize that he's in some blast. And he jumps up on it and he just fucking smashes his head into the wall. Like, shit. It's your ass next time. Then he walks back and goes into the fucking little uh, cave or whatever. Just then, you know, that's, that's, that's how you have to be with wisdom, man. You know, because shit, lion killer. Like I told you, that's a spiritual name, man. Because Esau is a fucking lion, all right? But the way we bash his, his, his uh, teeth out spiritually is by using wisdom, you know? And then the Lord is going to take it, take this man down, man, all right? But we have the ability to diffuse situations, uh, uh, you know, with, the, with what's been given to us, man. But that shows you that that was the way he said that, that that was a learned man, a man that, that had been in situations and understands how to use this book and, and, and wisdom and how to apply it. And that's the, that, those are the men that we've been given as teachers, so we're supposed to take these, man, because they watch for our souls. They know how to do it. Mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Exactly, man. It's uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, Whew. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Because these, uh, all those uh, individuals that were just, you know, <coughs> mentioned, they, they don't have uh, true knowledge. Okay, what does it say in the book of Sirach, the, 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 uh, the, knowledge the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. wisdom. All right, they don't have any prudence, they don't have any foresight. Because if, you, if you're really a wise person, right, you would um, make sure you don't die, right? You would try to avoid... At all costs, the things that are going to make you fall. Okay. Yeah, that's what a wise person would do. Mm -hmm. And you see, these individuals, they don't have any wisdom. They tell you to eat pork, which leads to death. They tell you to commit adultery, which leads to death. They tell you to do drugs, which leads to death, so on and so forth. Hey, what we talk about is life, man. All right, yeah, the, the commandments are, are life, as the scriptures say. All we push is, you know, to better yourself. Okay. So they, that, that's why an uh, individual that doesn't, you know, be around these people, they're going to be blessed, man. Exactly. If, if I can say in that Sirach 37 where it says be continually around the godly, man, the verse before that, it was telling you not to go unto these people in the world. You know, that was the, the balance because the next verse said, but be around these, right? The scripture was telling you not to deal with these niggas. Don't ask counsel from these niggas, man. You, they, they don't have no, like the brother saying, like the other brother is going into, man, all they know is death, man. All they know is wickedness and death. I got a few questions. Mm -hmm. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 15. Psalms 1 and 2. It says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I say this real quick? If you. All right, meditating on the laws, okay? You think about your Haobah Shemal Shai. Eventually, there's going to be a conflict then. All right, because all you're thinking about is righteousness, and all they're thinking about is wickedness. So you can't be amongst each other. It's, you know, uh, what is it, uh, good is said against evil, right? I got that way, yeah. Oh, yeah, get it. Shit, man. It's uh, to Rock 33 and 14. It says, good is said against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the god. We're enemies, man. With that being said, this is what happens. This is Proverbs 29 and 27. Yep. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. So we're not going to get along. There's going to be a conflict. There's going to be a butting ahead, man. So that's why you can't be amongst these people. And they got nothing good to talk about, man. Not a damn. Well, what are they going to talk about? The fucking NBA, bro? They definitely talking about games. That's about it. And fucking uh, uh, Fortnite and, and uh, uh, what is it, uh, Modern Warfare? Right. Whatever. I don't even know. Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? 
They uh, some fucking used up bitch. Okay. What the fuck, bro? Uh, or a fucking little Nas X, baby. You look good at the Metal Girl. Bro. Dude looks like fucking gold dust and, and, uh, and fucking glitter, bro. Like a tin man. A fucking tin man, bro. <laughs> a thong on. Oh, okay. Some nails. Actually, nah, he looked like that little mother, that troll. Uh, troll. Yeah, 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 yeah. The glitter like, troll. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, exactly. That's what he was inspired by. He was inspired by by, by, by trolls, man. The world tour, whatever it's called. Which that shit, that's some LGB mode stuff. Moism. Fucking just moism, man. Then this dude, he's inspired by it, bro. All right, they, 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 whoever's talking to you about fucking little Nas X is inspired, man. This guy, hey, bro, on the weekends, man, he's going to Boys Town, man, having a good old, uh, he's having a gay old time. All right. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. You know. Oh my god, man. This is the world we fucking live in, man. This is some fucked up shit, bro. What the like, fuck? Bro. No, yeah, you you got uh, that three whatever you got. Yeah, the color light. Like, no, yeah, what's your name? Shut the fuck up. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two, verse fifteen. He is grievous <coughs> unto us, even to behold, for mm. his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Mm. You know, and that's that's the spirit that they should feel. Like you know what the stupid ass fucking meme? All these dumb fucking Christians be posting on these fake. Well, they're not fake spiritual, they spiritual demons. They'll, some people don't like you because your spirit, your, your demon, uh, I mean, they just, their demons get irritated by you. No, your, your ass is probably wicked or y'all just, shit, some wicked motherfuckers don't get along either. You know that, right? Demons don't get along. <laughs> shit, it's like a bunch of diverse semen cells uh, fighting against each other with two people, man. You know? But it says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Because the one thing you people do agree on, like the brother had said earlier in the video, is that you still want this place to go on. You know, whether you be a Satanist, a Christian, all right, you're you're a leftist, you're a rightist, you're for the for um the MGTOW, or you're for um the blue haired people and the feminist agenda, y'all still want this place to keep going. Because y'all don't see outside of it. Even though you don't get along, you, you agree on that. You don't want this place to end. But it says, he abstained from our ways as from filthiness. And that's why hey, it says that we have washed our hands from this generation, man. You know? That, that, that we're not dealing with it. We're, we're not in this episode, all right? We're not running with you to the same excess of riot. Wherein y'all think it's strange. It says, he pronounces the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast that the Most High is his Father. And Lord willing, y'all gonna see, man. You know, this, this was not all for naught. And we did this for a reason. It made us morally better, even on this side, you know, in this in this filthy flesh. But y'all about to see us be glorified and glow. Because our glow day is coming. That's crazy. Yeah. You brother got anything else? You pretty much hit all the points, man. Uh, point being, hey, brothers, man, um, yeah, take this, uh, 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 uh um, I'll say, I'll say like this, take this grace period serious, okay? You know, there, there's not a lot of time left. All right, every opportunity that, that you have, you know, a, you know, try to see a brother, you know? Now, of course, you know, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, all right? But you should try to, you know, see brothers as much as possible. Don't, 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 don't neglect that. Don't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, man. Because what if there is no tomorrow? Well, it's not you know? course, but then don't quench the spirit. Yep. Exactly. All right. So uh, with that, you know, hopefully, you know, it was an edifying one. And with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to. Yeah. How about Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakah Kadash. Also, double honors to the apostle. That was a great millstone. Salutations to all your brothers. Shalom and the Bible ball. Bible ball. Shalom. Shalom.